Now, you boys, everybody please wake up. Oh, oh they're still alive. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, everybody, I hope you're in for a little bit of Resident Evil because we are back with Heaven Dust 2. We took this bad boy out a couple of days ago just to give you a heads up that it's out. And uh, you guys enjoyed it. We wanted to see a bit more, so... I can do that. If you guys would like to see more beyond this point, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up as you have all been doing a lot more recently. I do appreciate that, especially for the old algorithm. That said, we're kind of here at this point. Oh. Oh, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> I was going to say, um, we stopped here last time and I thought this light that I walked into would kill me. But no, it doesn't. Um, but it controls that, which we have to get. Okay. We'll figure out that soon here. What do we have? Inscription. Darkness does not hide the truth. Hmm. And what do we have over here? Oh. <laughs> the shortest little shortcut of all time. Look at this. It's just a circular little motion now. I love it. What is this? Fire grenade maker? Yo, let's go. Is this going to hurt me if I walk into it? No. Okay. So those purple things, we used them last time to make fuel. Purple spore research. Oh, let me guess. We'll probably use that to make some fire grenades. Alexander's spore is intriguing indeed. The chemical components are interesting. I asked, how did he get it? But he refuses to tell me anything. I don't care that much anyway. Anyway. Two anyways in a row? Anyway. I developed an automatic machine using the attributes of the spores. Insert the spores into the machine. Yeah, that's what I figured as much. Sherman. I'm curious if we could pass. Oh. Oh, it's a light switch. I'm lucky that I had a bad idea that actually led to the solution. So, okay, there it is. It's lasers. Freaking laser beams. Uh, let's see about walking through. There it is. He's done it. Can we turn this off for good? Thank you. Somehow, we blew the entire middle part of his face off, but a little piece remained on the corner somehow. Just apparently hanging on by his skin only. That was kind of impressive. Never just rush into these rooms, because you know these scumbags are always waiting for you to take a bite. Um, what, what is this? Oh, are these the jammers? This is the jammers, I believe, that is apparently a guy that's helping us out, right? And he said that if we could take care of the jammers, he'd be able to contact us up here. I see. So we just put a... Put a bullet in the jammer. Anything else here? No. Okay. Can't imagine that being the only one, but we'll keep our eyes open. Let's get out of this nasty-ass restroom. I can only imagine what these stains right here are. Don't want to imagine. Don't want to imagine. You know I said I can't imagine? I don't want to imagine. Okay, so I, I ran back really quickly to storage just to dump stuff off because we have so many. So now we're, we're good. Just pistol ammo is all we need right now. And one heal. That's all we really got to travel with in these Resident Evil games. There's a door right there too. And we got my boner friend. So we can hit him in the dome piece, obviously. But look at this right here. How about... Oops. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. I didn't account for the delay. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like in most games where you instantly shoot and it just instantly pops. Here is a bit of a countdown, that's good to know. Once again, we're finding more items, so yeah, it's probably a good thing that we went back and dumped some stuff off. Hello, my friend. Even more items. Can we actually aim at this guy's head? Thank you. Ooh. Yo, we popped that head like it was a grape. Slide B. Right? I need to find a projector of some kind, more gunpowder. You seeing all these items we're finding? There's some dudes around the corner as well. No surprise. Yeah, you see? Already we're filled up again. Should probably go do another freaking dump off. So I'm hearing a beep. Uh, oh, and there's apparently a million zombies over there feasting on somebody. Okay, how about we take care of the one that's here first? Without hopefully alerting everybody else. There's a lot of barrels. I think we could use them to blow the entire posse up. And now that we know there's a delay, it might be also very useful information for us, too. Okay. 
Ooh. This guy is a bonus. Mm, this is not really how I wanted this to go. Whatsoever. I mean, we could probably shimmy around them like, you know, classic Resident Evil style. But, um, can you guys line up? No, no, don't. Don't cover the entire area. This is good, kind of. Now, you boys, everybody please wake up. Oh, oh they're still alive. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's quite a few. I think a couple died, but not all of them. So now we got to circle back. There's still one more drum, but... I should just be shooting. I'm trying to conserve too much ammo. It's going to probably be the death of me. This is what we do. You guys got to almost de be dead after the blow-up. And now... Where's the boner? I mean, I need the bear in particular for the boner. Not you. You're the easy one. Mm, I would have liked to have grabbed this guy too, but whatever. You know what? It's just a couple of extra bullets. I think that worked out pretty well. I mean, it could have gone smoother. But, um, you know. We worked it out fairly well. Now we gotta destroy... Oh, hey, there's another one here. Is that the one I was hearing? No. Oh, there's the, um, the square thing that we need for that room that we were at, too, at the start. Okay, okay. So I'm seeing a lot of things. There's a little green plant in there. Oh, there's the other one. No, we came at it. We can't aim at it. Oh, but there's a ladder up here, so I guess we just get up there and we shoot. Alright, perfect, perfect. We are just about completely tapped, though, when it comes to room for things. More gunpowder. General shock absorber. Oh, it's a gun mod piece. Oh, our inventory is full. Alright, we're good to go. So I dumped everything off. The only thing I kept on me is the slide, just because we got it. It seems like an ideal puzzle piece for something. Gun modification, style parts, yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Oh. <laughs> that was convenient. Come in, Steve, do you copy? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear your voice. Looks like you've already dealt with old jammers. Where are you? I think I'm outside of office hall. Okay, I'm opening the gate, come in. Oh, he's in here. Perfect, we'll finally meet this Alexander fellow. <gasps> oh! Oh, Alexander, you scumbag! He's not here at all! Is this guy, is this guy working us? Is he like the Wesker of this game? Oh, I'm really here to help you. Ha 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 ha! Global saturation. Complete. Global. Saturation. Oh, that's a big meaty boy. But he's a dead meaty boy now. Don't peace. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, this guy covered ground fast. I sprint, my dude. Even as a zombie, you're a quick fella. Okay. I mean, I'm not necessarily happy that Alexander lied to me and didn't at least give me a heads up, but um, I mean, he didn't lie to me, but. Would have been nice and like, hey, I'm gonna open this thing, by the way. There's like zombies out there in there, so uh, be careful. You know what? You still hear another zombie? Ammo shells? What's this? Ooh, secret switch. Where's that noise coming from? Oh, slide A. We got an A and a B now. And what do we got here? Stab's last word. We finally reached the second floor, but Alexander locked us out. Okay, you selfish bastard. If we can't get in, then you're not getting out. We're trapping you inside and you just sit inside and wait for the self-destruct to start. We can't hold out much longer now. Farewell, my dear Sophia. Where are you? This place is a mess. I'm in my office, further back on the office hall. Oh, can you find a way in? No, it's completely blocked. Gotta find another way in. Listen, Steve, you can access my office through the gun lab, but that place is locked. You'll have to find my prosthetic hand. You need the fingerprint on it to unlock the door. Your prosthetic hand? <laughs> yeah, me and you both. Wait, your prosthetic hand. Yeah, I've been using it since the lab. Wait, isn't that like... That reminds me of the Resident Evil 4 meme. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? <laughs> Strange billiard balls, numbers are worn off. Black, green, yellow, and brown bars are scattered outside.
we'll see what a projector holds for us. So, oh, sight is actually a slide of a billiard table. Oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Black, green, yellow, and brown balls. Black, green, yellow, brown. Black, green, yellow, brown. Boom. Okay. What is this? Oh, level two. Perfect. Now, mm, that's not quite. I'm looking for a map. Level two. We have a level two right next to us right there. Right? Yeah. Zim on in. So we got one right there. We also got one near the gun modding table. Oh, the, the puzzle over there. So the first level two door was in here. There's obviously zombies in there. You can see them moving around right now. Um, I guess we'll run this way. If we gotta run. Oh! Oh! Body dude! Just shoot him and stun him! Ooh! Ooh, almost got me! He slight. Luckily, he missed. Okay, we're good. And one more dude there. Come on, buddy. Body. 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 All right. Uh, nice. Oh, the submachine gun. Perfect. We got ammo for this already, too. And that shouldn't take up a spot if we equip it, right? Equip the silver to number one. Perfect. I guess now we can consider carrying some ammo for it. We do have ammo for it. Gunpowder C. Very good. Modding your weapons. Oh, general mods installments need to be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out, all right? It's, you, you, you grab a mod and you put it on a gun, you know what I mean. It's not rocket science. The video game after all can't be that complicated. In real life, I wouldn't be able to do it. Sure. Can't even hold a gun in real life. Um, so this is this requires the hand then, right? That's the little prosthetic needed. So for now we can't do much there. This is apparently still sealed off to something else. I think we set the Yeah, that's the thing right there needed. Hmm. Little some media voices over there as well. The mutated plants have formed a solid green wall. Fire might do. Oh, it's all right. I see your game. These games do have their backtracking, obviously. I mean, so far it hasn't been as bad as like you know some of the old scores and evils, which the game takes inspiration from. I see so far the backtracking has been left to a minimal. And this isn't really backtracking, it's just like, you know, a couple of rooms away. So let me aim here and then, how does this work? Okay. I guess it kind of work. It, it kind of pays off to aim first so you know exactly where you're tossing the little thing. Apparently he just rolls it in the ground, which is kind of pretty gangster of him. Alright. Oh, the circular groove plate is back. Oh, so we gotta go back and grab that one? Okay, see now, now we're going into backtracking category. Now this, this is definitely backtracking. Hey buddy. He came out, he was like, yeah, you're right about that, Falcon. That is big. Oh boy, he's big. Do you bleed? You will. Oh, is he? Ah! Oh, he tricked me. I thought I was going to execute him. Okay, so let's definitely drop the save here. What I'm thinking we can do is... Oh, there's a couple of these boys running up. Oh, Boomer Dude. Hold up, he might blow up and kill. Oh no, he didn't. How does the Boomer work? I thought you shot him in the belly and he blew up. He didn't blow up and I shot him in the belly, so I shot him in the head and he still didn't blow up, he just died. Because I know we could use the boomers to kill, like, you know, zombies. I was hoping he'd take care of this guy for me, but apparently... He didn't go boom. Oh, there's more zombies in there, too. Bump 
them in the body. Plays this pack with the old zombos, huh? Three down. Let's do another one. And another one rolling up. Oh, is that the big guy again? Uh, no, it was actually... Oh, the guy with the bone around his body. Look, I got him in the head, but I didn't even see his body, so that worked out. Oh, up, 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 up. Easy boner. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna probably have to use human and Lanka to hold some weight there, is what I imagine. Okay, so this won't be a problem for us going forward, so that's gonna be now opened up for us. Perfect. Now we gotta pick up all the goods and dump off in the storage, because I'm not gonna have room for this. So give me a second while I do that, and then we'll get the solving. Is that a human? I can't aim at him, so he must be a human, right? Hunk? Is that you? A mosquito incident. It's always a mosquito transferring these viruses. The mosquito incident won Robert's report. First and foremost, the Nautilus corporate has taken strict confidentiality measures to the whole incident. Even the first research center does not have the access to the first-hand information. So the following report is based on the reconstructions of hearsay and third-party leaks. As the, as the writer, I need to disclaim the absolute authenticity of this report. Back in 1970, Dr. Hoffman, the director of the first research center at the time, led a research team to New Guinea and discovered a new virus, Heaven's Dust, in the blood of the Torquins. Heaven Dust can repair its host damaged cells, but only Torquins can resist the zombification side effect. Hoffman continued the research, but the new research center was soon destroyed in a conflict with the locals. Hoffman has been missing ever since. Continue on next report. Finally, a living human. Are you from the military? Military? You don't recognize Nautilus uniform? No, oh, sorry. I haven't been here so long. Oh, a rookie. Listen, rookie. I gotta get with my mission. You better stay out of my way. See, we're, we're rocking this suit that's like, you know, basically a, a bonus that I have, I think, because I have maybe a Heaven Dust one in my library. Um, But... Theoretically speaking, we should be officially, at least canon-wise, rocking a uniform of this research facility. So that's the reason why you can't tell that I'm not supposed to be here and he thinks I'm a rook. Well, easy. I know a way out. Do you want to come along? A way out? How could you know about that? I don't know about that, but someone knows. Who? The director of this place, Alexander. He's still alive? I went to his office. The entrance is blocked. Yeah, he's alive and he's trapped in his office. We've just contacted each other. So you need to find a way to get him out first. Well, something like that. Ah, listen, Rookie, I don't care about your escape plan, and I want nothing to do with it. You stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of your way. I can even provide some aids to you. I got some extra ammo in my hands, but can exchange it with something I need. Talk to me if you want to exchange supplies. Oh, so you're the merchant of this game, huh? Okay, so let's see about getting this uh, puzzle started here. Gotta... Now, I actually remember this, believe it or not, but this whole statue thing, there was a room. Actually, I remember where it was, but we saw like a painting that said that the statues here had to be facing the middle one for it to come down. I remember it was like a note or something that we saw. So that one's fine. That one's now facing you. This one now has to face the other direction. The problem is... Problem is, how do I hit this switch for that, maybe? Okay, so I think I got it. You know how we had those little T-Rex arms? That's the reason why we probably shot this crate down. I mean, I know we had to have shot this crate down last video for a reason or another. Let's get stopped right there, but I think then we could probably move it to get this plant. Or not. I thought we could climb it. <laughs> no, my plan was to climb it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I mean, that's, that's pretty ghetto, but okay. It works. Red herb, by the way, we could trade those again, as we said. And then, oh man, this is, this is a tricky one. I mean, lo logically thinking, you're not thinking, you're seeing, like, if you think of this in, like, game developer term, you're seeing, like, the set and everything. It doesn't feel like this is something I should be able to walk on, you know what I'm saying? It just doesn't feel like it's, it's kind of weird. 
Like, it's not something I could see. Like, I'd see myself coming in and be like, you know what? I can walk on that. It's just a bit weird. But okay. You know, I kind of stumbled upon it. There it is. Now, once we get this key, we got, obviously, right there, that boomer's in there. And I believe there was another flame key somewhere else. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is the other one that we saw outside of the one with the boomer. So have made modded that gun, have you, Falcon? Nope. <laughs> no, I have not. Ooh. I wonder if they have, like, the, the Resident Evil 4, like, shooting thing. I used to love that shooting gallery game, man. It gave you such a leg up. It was just the right amount of difficulty in the higher levels. I'm raging a little bit. Fun times. Some more gunpowder there. Oh, they do have a shooting range thing. Oh. They prepared prizes as well. I hate that the game does that, just spawn zombies after you've cleared rooms. I hate it. We can't pick up whatever that is as well. Oh, actually we can. The We don't longer need the key, so it's gone. Perfect. Boomer. <laughs> Mosquito Incident 3. We read one. You haven't read two. Let me see if we can find two before we read this. I hate reading things out of order. Yeah, thank you. In 1980, after a series of events, Heaven Dust Research was relocated to America and the Stardust Research Center Mansion. Which uh, is the events of... Well, I mean, the Stardust Research Mansion is the events of Heaven Dust 1. Or at least that's where the game takes place. Over the next few years, the Research Center developed the Europa 1 virus, Europa 2, Equatorial virus, and Heaven Dust, or from Heaven Dust. Two things need work on. Temperature adaptability, eliminate the zombification side effect. Europa 1 can survive in a temper, tempered zone, but there's no solution to its side effect. Two has evolved them both, but not perfectly. Evidence suggests that the host would suffer deformation intelligence degradation. Equatorial virus, on the other hand, uses tropical plants as hosts to secondary contraction or extraction which somewhat reduces the side effect of zombification, but it can not adapt to the high temperature environment. Here in the, here's the interesting part. A staff, a staff named Steve? All right, let's say a staff member named Steve was collecting evidence to expose the illegal experiment in the mansion, and this Steve somehow became the key to extract Europa 2 virus. Gee, do, do, do we know a Steve? Oh, us? No, can't be us. We got the super heavy metal shield. And number three. So again, if you haven't played the first game, this kind of gives you a little bit of filling in. Former director Aldington initiated a plan. The research center recruits new staff as virus test subjects. Steve is one of the new staff. His blood is quite similar to the Torquist. The heaven dust adapted well in his body. Later, the researchers extract the Europa 2 virus from him. Steve became the second host because of this. There was no information regarding the first host. Steve was soon caught in gathering evidence and locked up. That is when the virus leak happened. Presumably, it was mosquitoes passed the virus outside of the research area, so this biohazard was named the Mosquito Incident. The incident triggered the mansion's self-destruct protocol. Most of the staff were wiped along the files. Shockingly, the retrieval team found the second host. When they arrived at the site, though exhausted, he managed to survive. Steven? <laughs> why, why did we suddenly become Steven from Steve? Like, I know it's still part of, you know, you could just say Steve's short for Steven, obviously. But it just seems like now they're mad at us, like they're, they're reprimanding us. Like, Steven? Okay, so I'm way over time here for this one, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up. However, I know I I said I'd do it early and never did. Let's, let's actually wrap up by, you know, modding. So we have the General Shock Absorber, which increases the fire rate of a gun. Um, our submachine gun, which we haven't used as yet. Just about tops off, I mean... Do we want to give the handgun more fire rate speed? I mean, we don't even use that one. I'm not sure if I could use it on the Mauser now that I think about it. We can't put it on the Mauser. Okay, so it's either our regular handgun or this guy. I mean, what do we need the submachine gun for? Fire rate, right? That's basically what it's for. So I might as well max it out as much as possible is what I'm thinking, right? Okay, so there it is. Actually, see this guy? There it is. Nope. I haven't used it just yet. We'll see. I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys would like to see more beyond this point, let me know in the comments, am I leaving a thumbs up, especially for the algorithm purposes? 
Um, and if you guys want to see some more, I'm fine with coming back and doing some more. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. Now I got to figure out where the super heavy metal shield goes. But so far, everything else, pretty good. Pretty good little chibi Resident Evil. I'll catch you guys next time.